So now what we're going to look at is we're going to look at another opportunity to do some Gaussian elimination. But this time, we're going to look at something that uh, where we have an infinite number of solutions or a, um, yeah, a system where we're going to have an infinite number of solutions to kind of see what happens or what we do about that. How do we interpret um, those solutions? Okay, so let's start out with we have our equation x1 minus 2x2 minus x3 plus 3x4 equals 0 negative 2x1 plus 4x2 plus 5x3 minus 5x4 equals 3, 3x1 minus 6x2 minus 6x3 plus 8x4 equals 2. Okay, so the first thing that I want to do is I want to transform this to a, an augmented matrix so I can do some Gaussian elimination. Basically, that's going to be taking the coefficients here, so like starting with 1, negative 2, negative 1, 3, our line for our solution vector, 0, negative 2, 4, 5, negative 5, 3, then 3, negative 6, negative 6, 8, and 2. Now a couple of things that I want to notice about this before I even start is to notice that I have four variables but only three equations. So that means that it's going to be in well, most likely it's going to be impossible for me to have only one solution, okay, to have a single solution. So either, in this case, I'm going to have no solution, well, or most likely an infinite number of solutions, right? Basically, one of the uh, um, variables is going to be dependent upon the other variables, okay? So what we have to do is we have to go, okay, well, what am I going to do then? Well, that's okay. We'll, we'll take a look at that. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. The first thing we want to do in Gaussian elimination, though, is we want to get a 1, a leading 1, in that top left-hand co uh, column, left-hand row. And we have one there already, so we don't have to do anything. So what we'll do next, though, is I'm going to take row 2, and I'm going to add two, plus 2 row 1. Okay, and that's adding 2 multiplied by 2. And just for the sake of keeping everything neat and clean, negative 2, 4, 5, negative 5, 3, we'll add to that 2 times 1, negative 2, negative 1, 3, and 0. So this is now 0, 0, 3, 1, and 3. So my new matrix is 1, negative 2, negative 1, 3, 0, 0, 0, 3, 1, 3, and 3, negative 6, negative 6, 8, 2. Next, I'm going to take row, add to that negative uh, 3, row 1, right, or A, 1, 3, times negative 3, and that's going to then be 3, negative 6, negative 6, 8, 2, and negative 3 times 1, negative 2, negative 1, 3, and 0. So that then gives me 0, 0, negative 3, negative 1, and 2. So now my new matrix is 1, negative 2, negative 1, 3, 0. 0, 0, 3, 1, 3, 0, 0, negative 3, negative 1, 2. So now, what I want to notice is I want to say, okay, well, I've accomplished most of what I wanted to accomplish. I got a 1 here, and I got a uh, <clears throat> now, and 0 is below it. And now what I want to get is I want to get a 1 right here. Uh, as far over as I possibly can. But what I'm going to notice, I actually notice that this 3 and negative 3, they're the same. So just to make things a little bit quicker, I'm going to take, I'm going to, before I actually divide through, I'm going to take row 3, okay, um, and I'm going to plus row 2. All right, so that's 0, 0, negative 3, negative 1, 2, and 0, 0, 3, 1, 2, uh, 3, 1, 3. So 1, Five. Uh, zero, 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 excuse me, zero, five. 
So now my new matrix, oh, by the way, this is add um, two to three, multiply by one. So this is now one, negative two, negative one, three, zero. And zero, zero, three, one, three, and zero, 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 five. Uh-oh, we have a problem. This isn't actually an infinite solutions example. In this case, what we've got, we've got a row of zeros down here, okay? And we've got a five over here on the solution vector. So if we know anything, that's basically saying that zero is gonna equal five. Because we have plus zero x three plus zero x four equals five. And that's impossible. So this matrix is no solution. I end up with no solution to my uh, to my linear system of linear equations. So whenever I get a matrix where on the coefficient matrix side I have a row of zeros and on the solution side I actually have a value, right, inside of that same row of zeros, then what I'm getting is is no solution. Okay, because basically I'm getting a, a false statement. I'm getting zero equals some number, in this case zero equals five. And so, so I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna change this from infinite solutions to a no solutions example. All right. 